Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, this is Digest. Uh, it will be covered um, three questions from uh, three users uh, regarding declination. Uh, this is question from Tom Russo. Uh, and another question from R. Uh, you see, he wants to, uh, to for S&P uh, uh, 500, uh, have find how uh, uh, high and low reacts on um, geocentric planetary movement, uh, planetary path path uh, 25 degrees this is his answer okay i will show it and another question uh, you see um, noro was uh, reported that it was a problem uh, to download uh, price history from yahoo somehow sometimes it displays this uh, garbage uh, okay i will start with the uh, last question uh, you see this um, uh, yahoo uh, this is not related for, for uh, with time solution for sure, because you see uh, this is actually problem with Yaha. Sometimes, uh, sometimes it does not allow uh, to download price history and uh, displays uh, something, uh, some garbage, garbage, uh, not price but something different. You see, uh, this is actually the main reason why I stop supported uh, um, old version of uh, time solution scanner because. Uh, it was problem with Yahoo. Uh, this is, I guess, this is their security. They do not allow to download too many uh, price history. It happens with my, my with my version as well. This is not related with time solution at all. Uh, so, what solution I can uh, recommend? Uh, the first solution. Uh, first solution I recommend to. <coughs> To do this, uh, simply close timing solution and open uh, it again. Uh, usually, in most cases, cases it helps. Maybe uh, restart the uh, computer, but I guess uh, restart timing solution it's again and it works. Another way uh, to solve this problem, you see, uh, let's do this. Uh, in um, I will uh, download from Yahoo. I will download uh, download S and P five hundred. Uh, click download and uh, suppose now it works okay. This is latest version. It's not related with version. It's not related with uh, with uh, something with in timing solution. And this is uh, Yahoo problem. And you see, I recommend to click this button. You see, this button allows uh, to save this link. This is a link for uh, price history for S&P. So I put this information in, into clipboard, and now uh, you can run any internet browser. I click. Um, uh, this is uh, this is. Uh, Chrome, but you can use any, you can use Microsoft uh, Edge, it seems to me. Okay, and just uh, copy this. Click OK. And you will see, you will, see, you will get this price history uh, for S&P 500. Here it works OK. Um, actually, uh, sometimes I guess it, uh, yes, uh, it can display a garbage in this situation as well. Uh, but um, I don't know. Okay, so what I recommend to do now, I recommend to uh, control, control A, copy, send this information into clipboard and in timing solution, just a sec, just sec, just paste this information into clip, from clipboard. So timing solution automatically recognizes this, uh, that this is information from Yahoo, from clipboard. And uh, it's uh, downloading, so... Load. Right, it's okay. Okay, we have downloaded. Uh, we have downloaded um, uh, price history into from Yahoo, but we uh, do it uh, indirect way. Uh, we download it uh, into some browser, uh, copy this information, and uh, paste this information into timing solution. So S and P is here. Uh, a second question. Uh, this is about declination. Uh, you see, in time solution, declination presents uh, practically everywhere. Uh, for example, I run now tools and I will display uh, ephemeris. Uh, so by default, it will display um, uh, he, uh, geocentric. Here it is. If you want to heliocentric, it's here. Helio. Helio uh, ephemeris. If you uh, would like to display, uh, calculate. Uh, declination, 
declination is here. Pay attention. Minus it means uh, south declination and uh, plus it means it means north declination. Uh, next example. Uh, astrological prediction techniques. Okay, I click astrological prediction techniques. I will uh, click somewhere here, like on this uh, uh, this bottom, and I will see the uh, wheel, the horoscope for this uh, date. Okay, uh, you can change zodiac. Zodiac by default is the geo longitude. You can display um, helio, hitis. Or you just display uh, declination, uh, declination, here it is, De declination, declination. Uh, pay attention, uh, declination is uh, not cyclical zodiac, because uh, usually it, tends, it changes in range minus 23 degrees, uh, um, plus 23 degrees. So this is declination zodiac. So while I will move it, you will see uh, how declination, you see this is uh, conjunction declination sun, Uh, Venus, Mars. Okay, uh, next, uh, Ulea. In Ulea, aspect. For example, I would like, I would like to calculate aspects. Uh, let's calculate aspects. Sun, conjunct, uh, moon, and zodiac. Let's be declination. Okay, we will find the dates when sun and uh, moon have the same declination. So it's everywhere, for example, uh, midpoint position, uh, declination, what is declination, here it is, or whatever, in more practically in all events, uh, uh, a declination presence, like midpoints, midpoints, and uh, choose zodiac, here it is, you can uh, calculate midpoints for declinations. Uh, so everything is possible here. Uh, also, I recommend to do this. I recommend to just a second. I will remove this event and uh, please check um, in Ule. In Ule, uh, you can uh, um, click here Standard Events Library. Here it is, and you will see uh, the whole bunch of events for declination, like you can uh, find. Uh, Uh, Venus declination uh, out of bound uh, north. It means it means that uh, uh, it's uh, higher than 23 degrees. Okay, you will get uh, these events. Yeah, you see out of bound. Or you want to uh, you uh, can display a declination uh, just oh, sorry, didn't connect. Uh, you can display a. Uh, declination, Venus declination. That just this display the sh chart for Ven Venus declination. Here it is. You see how Venus declination changes. Uh, also, I recommend to check our website timingsolution.com and uh, what is it? Here it is. And in knowledge database, uh, just tap, type declination. And, and you will find the article about declination, here it is, and uh, you will, uh, the whole story about heliocentric declination. Uh, so, as you see, everything is possible uh, regarding declination. Uh, next question, we wanted to find uh, uh, some correlation between uh, high and low, in other words, turning points, and uh, planetary, uh, there are two possibilities, planetary position and planetary path. Uh, you see uh, the first variant. Uh, we cal uh, calculate the planetary position, uh, in other words, dates when uh, some planets passes uh, 25 degrees of zodiac. And uh, we see does this event correlate with uh, high and low turning points. Uh, or in other variants, you see we calculate the planetary path. Uh, for, uh, we calculate how many degrees a uh, planet passes from one turning point to another one of turning points. And uh, this way we can fi find that uh, usually, just, just, uh, just an example, uh, usually uh, when a planet passes, uh, some planets passes 25 degrees uh, from one turning point uh, to another, turn, uh, to another uh, data date, uh, we have high pro pro probability for turning points. In other words, turning points divided by uh, 25 degrees of uh, planetary path distance. 
Ok, let's do both. First uh, variant. Uh, planes, gear, uh, passes, 25 degrees of zodiac. We'll, uh, we'll calculate it uh, using, uh, using uh, Ulea module. So, uh, click Ulea. And in Ulea, we already created this event. Venus passes 20 all zodiac, uh, 25 degrees. Ok, click calculate and we will get these vertical stripes correspond the dates when Venus passes 25 degrees of zodiac. Ok, maybe we'll analyze not all zodiacs, maybe we'll analyze only uh, cardinal zodiac. Clear? Cardinal, oh sorry. Aries, Cancer, Libra and uh, Capricorn. Ok, replace, calculate. Or maybe we'll, uh, I do not, uh, actually I do not see correlation, any correlation between turning points and these vertical stripes. Or maybe we'll uh, apply, apply in other planets like Ven uh, Venus, uh, like Mars. Mars, uh, Zodiac, any, all signs of Zodiacs. 25-25, uh, uh, geocentric, yeah. Uh, replace and calculate. So we cal calculate when Mars passes 25 degrees uh, zodiac. Uh, I do not see any correlation here between turning points and uh, these vertical stripes. But if you, um, if you, if you will find uh, some correlation, uh, next step we can apply um, uh, statistical analysis. Uh, actually, this is kind of a cluster analysis. I will show you how it works. You see, now I will calculate efficiency test for this event. Uh, click Start and uh, choose the first event. Wait a bit, it's calculating. Okay, you see this is uh, efficiency test. You can easily find um, explanation on uh, uh, website how it works. It, it moves, it shows the uh, typical averaged uh, movement of uh, S&P 500 around this event. This is uh, midpoint and zero. This is a date when uh, Mars passes 25 degrees zero. This is Mars passes 25 degrees. And this is uh, one day after that, two days after that, five days after that, trading days, five days before that. Uh, so, uh, but there is one possibility here. You see, click this option show and click here, uh, choose uh, turning points. Click OK. You see now the program shows all turning points around this date, around this date. Uh, let's I will increase, um, increase window. Let's say I will set to um, 25. Click uh, recalcul recalculate and you see, maybe we'll need, need to increase. You see, this is a kind of cluster analysis. You see, if there is some correlation between these events, uh, we should to see some cluster here. Uh, some cluster here, no, maybe this cluster, but uh, I don't know. Uh, you see, there are more uh, top turning points here. Here, to, uh, to, uh, we have 47 turning points. What does it mean? It means uh, we have more turning points, 20 uh, how many? 22? Uh, yes, uh, this is 20, uh, 22 days after this event, after an um, uh, event when Mars passes 25 uh, degrees of zodiac. Uh, but uh, I don't know, maybe... Uh, yeah. So, next approach, um, we calculate planetary path. Uh, in this case, we apply in other techniques, we apply uh, this uh, planetary steps, charting tool. Okay, I will remove this Ulea event and now uh, click this button and here we'll choose planetary steps. Okay, here we need to set uh, the planetary steps. No, let's be Mars again or maybe Venus. Okay, Venus. 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 Uh, Geo, Helio, whatever. Let's be Helio. Helio. And now we will set steps here. Uh, we, uh, you want to analyze what steps? Uh, 25 degree steps. Okay, let's put 25 degrees uh, step. Next step will be 50 degrees. Oh, sorry. 50. Sorry. 50 degrees, uh, 75 degrees, 
and so on, 100 degrees and so on. But you, you see, you can do it easy. 25 dot dot uh, and 100. It will be that we analyze uh, 100 uh, vertical stripes with increasing steps. So 25, 50, uh, 75, 100, 125, and so on. Uh, 100 lines. And uh, by the way, you can uh, use uh, opposite direction, not the uh, direction, in both directions. Minus 25 and 100. Uh, so we will analyze steps Venus, uh, heli heliocentric, and Venus passes 25 degree steps. Okay, just drag mouse cursor and move it uh, from here to here. You see there are too many lines here. Maybe Venus is uh, too fast planets. Let's uh, set it uh, to Mars. Mars, Mars. Yeah. And so uh, how it works. We just move the mouse cursor and we see if, um, if uh, there is some uh, coincidence. You see there are, there are more po points, uh, many stripes, co these stripes, vertical stripe coincide with turning points. Uh, it means that uh, these uh, planetary steps work. But it seems to me that this approach is not working. Um, but you can play with different, uh, with dif different uh, steps, different planetary combinations, like uh, let's say uh, Mars, uh, Jupiter, angle separation between Mars and Jupiter. Okay, let me analyze this angle. Okay, uh, that's it.